In the previous section, we looked at SQL commands that are grouped under data definition language. So we saw how to use the create, drop, and alter command. We also learned about the different SQL or some of the, the, the SQL constraints. We looked at null, not null, default, the unique constraint, as well as primary keys. In this section, we would look at commands grouped under data query language and the different ways we can use those commands. Data query language, or DQL, are statements used to query the database to find information in one or more tables and to return the query as a result set. The main SQL command within data query language is the select statement. And we're quite familiar with this. So when we write something like select star from customers or select star from student, and which prints out all the information or all the data within the student's table, the same thing when we did select star from student enrollment, that's actually us performing a data query language command, which again is the select statement. Now, there are more ways in which we can use the select statement. We can add one or more clause to the select statement to query our database, and which helps us to get more um, distinct information or distinct data out of our table. To see more ways in which we can use the select statement to query our table, we will create another table, a penguin table. And you don't have to type out the schema, just copy it from the document that I've provided to you. You can just copy the create table schema. And once we create that, we'll also insert this record, uh, this record into the table. So I have copied the schema to create and to insert data, uh, insert records into a, a penguin table. But the first thing I'll do would be to actually want to create a new database. And I'll call this create, let's say database, let's call this penguin, penguin DB. And DB just means database. So we'll create a, a new database, penguin DB, and let's use that database so let's use penguin db okay execute so now that we've done that let's execute the command to create our, our table and let's insert this record execute so now we have 12 records now let's use our select statement to print out the table. So select star from penguin. And it should, this should print out the table. So we have 12 records in the columns we have. We have the penguin ID, we have the name, we have the breed, sex, age, as well as color. So like I said, so far, all we've done is to print out all the records. But what if we just want to print out the just the names of the of the penguins? You know, we don't want to see the breed the column. We don't want to see the sex column, age, or color, or even the penguin ID. All we need is the, the name. And that's quite easy. All you need to do is select. Now, instead of star, which prints all, we can specify which column we want to print out. So when we say select name, which is the name column from penguin. And when we do this, now we have the name column printed out. So if we want to, let's say we want to print the breed, we just need to do select breed from penguin. And when we execute this, we have all of our breeds for the penguins. And we can print out, let's say we want to select, well, let's say we want to see the, the ages of our penguins. So print, select age from penguin. Now we have all our ages. And let's print out, let's say we want to print out two columns. We want to see the name of our, of, our, of our penguins as well as the breed. 
So we go select H. And what we need to do is we separate the columns with comma. So we go select H, breed from penguin. And when we run this, this prints out the age and the breed column for us. We can print out, and we could, and this will be printed out depending on the the order in which we, you know, which is our columns. We could do print out, you know, if we want the breed first, and then we want the name, and then we want the let's say we want the age, and then we want the let's say we want the penguin ID. Let's sure. let's select all. What do we have here? Yeah, penguin ID. So we go penguin ID. We we'll go from penguin, and we can run this. And this really this just prints out the the table based on the way we order our our, our column. So now this does not change the the way our, our records are in the table itself. It just prints it out the way we've indicated, the way we indicated that we want the breed first, we want the name, the age, and then a penguin ID. But our original table still remains the same. So if we were to go select star from penguin, we'll see that we still have our record just the way in which we inserted the records into the table. And, and you can actually print out multiple, we can run multiple comments at the same time. And all you need to do is just select both of them. So the first one, we have the, the breed, the name, age, and the penguin ID. And now this is the original table, select all, all from penguin, we have a penguin ID, all just as it is originally. So when we use the select statement to print something out, it prints it out the way we want it, but it doesn't change the original data the way it's been entered it originally into our table. Okay, so now we know to choose or print out a specific a single column within the table. What if we want to print out certain information or setting types of, of grouping within our table. Right now we have the, if we look at, and I'm just going to run just this one. So we we have, you know, we have our breed, we have our sex, column, age, and color. What if we want to print out just the female penguins? Is there a way we can do that? And of course there is, and this is where we use what we call the where clause, and I'll show you what that looks like. So let's say we want to print out just the, the female penguins. All we need to do is say select. And for now, let's print out, let's print out all, um, let me see. Let's print out all the information, but but want to restrict that to, to the female, female penguin. So let we say select all from, penguin and now would say where sex which is the what we're filtering by equals and we want the female so what this is saying is that we want all the information within our penguin table but and we're using where where the sex is female so this will print out all of our female penguins within the penguin table so when we run this, so we see that if we look at our sex column, we don't have the males anymore because we've added this clause. The where clause helps us to like to drill even further down or to exclude or include depending on how we want to use the where clause. What if we want to print out just the, let's say the, let's look at the column. Let's say we want to print out the, the penguins that are gray. So let's say select all from penguin where and color because that's what we're using equals gray okay and let's run this so now we we have three of our penguins do have a uh, 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 gray in color 
and then we have two male and one female and the names of the gray color penguins are male frosty frosty and dexter all right so let's do another so let's say we want select so we want to select um what can we do okay let's 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 select age uh, from from the age column so we want to print out all of our penguins that are age six so select and what we want is we just need the name we we'll like to see the breed and we want to see the age because we yeah that's fine so select name breed and age from what table from our penguin table and now we're going to use a where clause where age equals six and because six is an integer we're not going to put that in in quotes okay execute so here we see that we have one two three four five we we have five five the five penguins that are age six sassy so we actually have two sassies um two penguins named sassy one is a northern rock hopper and the other is a fairy penguin and both six years old let's see if we can also print out a, a list of penguins based on their penguin id same thing we'll just pull those down so select and what do we want let's say we want the penguin id penguin we want a penguin id we like to see the name and the age from penguin and where penguin id equals and let's say equals four all right so that's sassy so now we know that our penguin id with the id of four um we know that now that that's sassy and when we can change this to let's say eight and let's see which penguin is that and that's sassy again oh okay um that's a five. Okay, so we have Fabi as Penguin ID five, and um, Fabi is eight years old. So this is um, this is a way we can use the select statement to drill farther down within our table. Um, so, so actually, as a rule of thumb, I, I know we started by using select star from a table, which selects selects all the record, but Within a company, if you're working with a large data set, more, more often than not, you, you most likely won't be needing all the records from a table. It's typically you need certain information. So because when you select all the records, it, it, it puts a lot of um, workload on the database itself. So it's always advisable that you only print out the information that you need rather than selecting all. And we'll be, as our data set increases, we'll be seeing how, how can we do this to ensure that, you know, we're not putting a strain on the database and we're only selecting information that we need. So by using the, the select statement with a where clause, we're able to drill down, drill down and only print out information that we need or only select um, a, a few information rather than selecting all the records. Again, because we've been working on a small data set, um, it, it's fine to just, you know, that's why we use a select all from, you know, the star. But uh, like I said, it all depends on on the volume or, 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 you know, the number of records you have within that data database. Okay, so this is where you get to try your hands on some of the things we've learned so far. So what I would like you to do is to write the, the, the first task is to write the SQL statement that selects the name and breed. So basically you want to print out just the name and the breed within the penguin table. The second task would be to print out the name, the breed and the color of the penguins. So really once you complete a false task, you're really just, you know, writing the same thing and including the color columns, 
column um, in, in your printed in, in your printed result. The third task will be to write out the SQL statement that selects only the little penguin. So you only want to print out the little little penguin. So on the on the breed column, you select the statement that you use the statement that prints out just little penguins. And then finally, you want to print out the penguins in our table or the penguin in our table in which the penguin ID is the same as their age. So you have the penguin ID and the name and the age being the same. Um, the same. So let's say, for instance, the penguin ID is three, then the age would also be three. All right, so let's work on this together. The first thing I'll do would be to open the new query box to for us to solve the task. And I'll just copy the first task, which is, and I'll comment this out. So we want to write the SQL command that selects the, the name and breed. So we just go select name breed from penguin that's all we really need to do when we run this we have our names as well as the different breeds of the the penguins the second task is to print that out with color so we have name breed and color so, okay and the, all we need to do, similar to the first task, name on the breed, and we we'll want to the color from penguin. We can run that. So we have the, the name, the breed, as well as the column. The top task is to print out only the, the little penguin. So that's going to be the breed. And, okay, and this this should be penguin because it's um, it's not plural. Okay, and all we need to and I did not indicate um, specific columns to print out, so we can print out everything. So select all from penguin. Here we use the where clause where breed equals and then we'll have a little penguin. Okay, we we'll run this. Now we have three penguins that are little penguin that that breeds a little little penguin. So Mel, Furby, and Sophia. And uh, the last task is to, and this is a bit of a tricky one because I did not show you how to do this. So we want to print out or, or write a statement to print out uh, our penguins that the penguin ID is the same as age. Penguin ID is the same as age. And what we need to do is we go select all from penguin and we'll use the where clause. And what do we want? We want the penguins that the penguin ID equals the age. So what we need to do is we just write where penguin ID equals age. Okay. So let's run this, and we see that Jackson has a penguin ID of seven, and his age is also seven. So that's one way we can also use the the where clause. And just so you. Sure, select all from penguin. And I'm going to run this too. So if we look at our table, we have Jackson as seven. Let's see if there's any, any other. I don't believe so. 11, 10. So uh, yeah, I, I believe it's only, definitely it's only, uh, only Jackson, because otherwise this query would have returned all in which their ID is as the same. So we have Jackson, the penguin ID is seven, and then there's also seven, the age is also seven.